there's still a ton of new and secret fish out there to catch. And we've also got a ton of zombie variants we have to find today <laughs> that don't get stolen by other fish. When in doubt, add a $50,000 mega hook and a bunch of bombs. That way all the annoying fish can get blown up and straight out of the way and you can focus on the single one you actually want to catch. So you guys can go and then I will take my zombie fish and that one's still going to annoy me. I was just thinking, oh good, these are just small fish, they'll be so easy to catch initially. But I think we got it now, we got the big brother out of the way. Our first zombie variant, get in the boat. And I'm definitely going to spend liberally today. We got $13 million and I'm going to spend it. That was a big zombie fish. I didn't see what that was. It's a swordfish. Okay, all I'm going to need for that is a puffer fish in like four hours of time. Ooh, how's this for a good one? I found the deep sea fish. This one really suits its zombie variety. So you get in the boat. $25,000, that's hardly worth my time. I wanted to sell these, but I did also want to try something since we're going to be spending a lot of money today. If I put the tra trawler, it's going to put a net under my boat. I just want to go all the way to the end and back. You can see the value stacking up because I'm just swooping up whatever's under the boat in the moment. I've gone like 25% of the way across the map. I've got over $100,000 in my net down below. The deeper we go, we're going to get less. So we're actually going to sell right here for 170 grand. Now I know that sounds like a lot of money. Uh, that's three casts. And now that we're way out here in the far lands, we've got some fish we got to find. Which is really a lot of fun considering I've got this to navigate with. It's just darkness and emptiness. The only way I even know I'm at the bottom is if I start moving and the uh, thing isn't sinking anymore. But on the bright side, there's literally no fish here, so it makes it extra exciting to navigate around. It's also a stormy night, so we're going to find some new fish that way, but I figured while I was here I would get this happy moron. Might as well get something for my deep sea effort. The hardest part of any of this is remembering what fish are new or not. This one's definitely not new now that I look at it, but since it's a storm I'm going to catch everything just in case. I've also forgotten to put on my hat that makes my lure sink deeper, which we're gonna need. So instead I've settled for catching this idiot, because I'm pretty sure he's worth a lot. At our first stop, we're gonna swap out those fish for half a million dollars. I've gotta go all the way back for my hat. What we need is the explorer. Your sinker will sink a little deeper. Because not only do we have new fish to find today, uh, we've also gotta find more hats. This one has a wrench on it, so you know it's gotta be a good tool. It actually makes upgrades and attachments 25% uh, off. But I was going to say, I got distracted because I saw a very valuable fish sitting right below me. I forgot how easy it is to catch. Because you just put a giant look, hook in his face and profit. That did cost $50,000 to cast, but it made $120,000. Uh, I think that fish is actually one that I need to catch. It has the right shape. I don't really know how to get it though. Maybe if I just hold still for long enough, I'll actually bite that. He's getting closer. Just put it in. You know you want to. So far he's slowing down, but he's just there. He could probably taste it. I don't know how that's not in his mouth. I could try and flick the rod. Did that work? No. Nope. He didn't actually bite that. He was that close. I don't know what he wants to bite it. Look at my trawler net though. It's just a glowing ball of fish at this point. But what I really only wanted this time around was just this hat that you could barely see. <laughs> now that we're in the daylight, it looks something like that. It's $100,000. Flicks further but always loses fish. I just wanted to wear it because it looks like that. That's all. But there's a few fish out here we still need to catch. So we're right away going to remove the annoying fish because I'm not having it today. Bombs for everyone. I just set off a giant chain reaction of fish. I didn't realize these ones blow up. <laughs> so we blow up the bomb and then they blow up. Oh, that's fun. I wish I knew that before. The fish I need is this big red one, but I need to scare away or murder its children before uh, I can catch it. So I need to be careful with how I scare it. Uh, also, these are going to really annoy me. But this hat does actually make me hit the deep water quicker because I can flick straight downwards like this and get to strange places. Just gotta be careful to scare the right fish. My light was already eaten and I might have scared the red fish anyway. Nope, he's still around. Uh, we did catch one of these, but I can flick him off. I guess that's one of the benefits of this hat is that if I catch the wrong fish, I can just get rid of him. Temporarily at least, but let's see what we can do for the big red fish right now. I don't have a bomb on, but I'm pretty sure if I can manage to get the small one and maybe like flick it out of the way, I can succeed in scaring them both away. So that's fun. And I just realized I caught the hat I needed to catch the lindfin. It needs to be sitting down there on the bottom, so I'm pretty sure I can't actually catch that anymore. Pretty sure we still need this giant grape though, and he's not hungry for what we have currently. He does look like the little fish in the caves at the beginning though that love bombs. Bomb big, the large relative of its common bomb bag, can quickly pull water through its mouth to inhale little fish. I'm pretty sure I just need to feed it a little fish, which means I need to change my hat. And that's really sad because look at it, but we'll go do what we're supposed to do finally. So what we need to do this time is not blow those up hilariously, but clear out some of the annoying morons that are over here, just so I can have a clear path into that cave. 
And I've even made myself a trail to follow, so I can just take one of these little puffer bomb fish and insert it directly into the mouth of him. Who's the idiot now? You literally eat bombs. Every time I play this, I always forget how long it takes to reel up a single fish from the depths. I think I could actually upgrade that, but for now, get in the boat. 320 grand. And now we have a first mate. Going back exploring the cave, uh, we found one of these, and now I need to wait for the swordfish to swoop by. I just don't at all know the route he takes. There's a redfish coming, I'm always worried they're gonna steal my bait. Is this the wrong cave? I'm sure I saw the swordfish in here a minute ago. Okay, he's down there right now. I gotta try and pay attention to his loop so I can figure out exactly where he is or where he's going. The swordfish literally disappeared, so I really don't know what its uh, cycle and movement pattern is, and now we're gonna have this one being a problem. You know what? Fine. You want the hook so bad, you can have it. I will throw you in my boat and then fillet you alive. Easiest $40,000 I ever made. This ancient relative of the swordfish speeds around the labyrinth, spearing unlucky small fish. I'm 90% sure I've seen that swordfish come spearing through here, so I'm gonna wait patiently for a moment and see if he turns up. Okay, I see him. He's at the top. I gotta try and get in front of him. And where is he? Oh no. Oh, he's so close. Oh wait, he came back and speared this fish. He actually gets aggressive for it. It's just a matter of finding the idiot because he hides in that maze all day long. This is great. I was really worried about finding this one. I knew it was going to be super annoying. All the way to the surface, 450,000. What about the little one? Do I get money for that? <laughs> He's still hanging on. Now we're going to go back to check on my hat to see if it's respawned. And if it has, we can catch the fish nearby. If not, we might be out of luck. Okay, uh, the hat has respawned. Uh, the other fish just stole my... Uh, light bulb but i think i can actually lure this guy in i'm near his hat hello do i need to hook the hat and then him oh he gets ready oh okay the other fish stole me got it we just need to be a little bit smarter with our strategy first of all getting rid of that and that and that and we're just gonna do a little look around he won't bite now so we're gonna get rid of our bombs and we're gonna go near the hat and he should glom right onto us yeah come on there we go and i'm gonna try very hard to avoid other fish on the way up because i have a problem today with getting my stuff hijacked by bigger morons this is a very unique looking fish. I like this one. And this one is called a Lindfin. Get in the boat. All of our categories are getting so close. Huge, we somehow only have 87% of. Oh, because I'm missing a fair few. Probably because there's not that many of them and they're hard to find. Now we got some bombing to do. We need to go kill some little fish so we can catch its parents. <laughs> but also when I see these, I gotta blow them up just because it's funny. Okay, now we need to get surgical because we need to scare a lot of fish without scaring the ones we're after. But these guys especially need to go. Didn't actually mean to catch this one. I thought I had more bombs. Can we just flick him to the surface? Okay, I hooked one of the little ones. Uh, obviously, the big one tears it off right away, and I think that actually scared them all away. There's probably a very easy way to do this. I'm just making it impossibly hard. Okay, I managed to scare one of the little ones away. Oh, I, I think I actually did scare both the little ones away. Now it should be just the big one somewhere here. Or maybe it somehow also got scared away. The bombs weren't anywhere near it, though. That's just mean. It turns out I was doing this wrong, so we actually have a much higher chance to catch it now. We just gotta clear out the rest of the jolly morons. So you first need to catch the one little fish the Rod de Love isn't following, which is the one currently on its left. Or maybe it actually, yeah, it swaps fish. So if we can get this one, okay, hello? I don't know why that didn't work. That was supposed to work. Okay, I might have found a new strategy for doing this. If I get him to, oh, if I chain the fish, if I get the little red one to bite and then I feed it to the mustard fish, then the other fish will bite and eat him. Yes, that is as complicated and annoying as it sounds. One way or another, I'm gonna catch this fish. I know this is hard to see, but I think I accidentally developed a new strategy. I was trying to force the hook into the big one's mouth, as I do. But then I realized the big one doesn't actually bite anything until the little one does. So if I can lure the little one close to the boat, which is really hard in the dark, I think I can chain reaction them and then take them both. Now that it's getting back to the lake, okay, we got two nice big red fish. So I'm going to try and get that one to bite right at the surface. So they'll take team and then I'll get them both. Well, more accurately, we're going to get the... uh big one because the small one's probably gonna be eaten did that work did i get them both i think i got them no i'm pretty sure the big one just swam away from the boat as soon as i tossed it in that didn't seem to count nope nope it did not count that was a lot of work but i think that gave me some good sight into how to make this work now because i'm pretty sure we caught one of the red babies the other red baby is swimming around here i think so i can actually probably catch it worry free and then the big one will respawn and only have one little baby helper so I should actually take my time catching this one because it's going to wait to respawn and I want it to respawn long after the big one shows up again. Just, you know, to give myself adequate time to do this. So I'm going to wiggle this one around on the hook for a little while and give it a nice tour of the ocean. Oh, okay. It was literally waiting near my boat. I don't know how this game works anymore. 
Okay, this time I'm gonna lure it real close to the boat and then I'm gonna catch it at the last second. Okay, I can see the big one up near my boat on the radar again, so it is still sitting there waiting, so I'm gonna have to do this quickly. But then the other one's gonna be, can you just grab the bait then? Wait, wait, will you just grab that? You seem like you want to. Here, put it in your mouth. You, what? Okay. Oh, okay, we, <laughs> we got it. I have no idea how I just did that, but get in the boat stay in the boat and i've officially caught both of the little ones i've caught 100 percent of the small fish unless there's some secret ones out there which there might be so i'm gonna sell everything on board for 1.5 million dollars that's not bad for a medium fish i still need to catch a smarty and i'm pretty sure that's the last one that shows up on the books i've located the next fish in the dark we caught a few things along the way we wound up with a big happy whale ultimately who will go in the boat and then we gotta throw some bombs down to clear some way and then i think we're gonna catch a new fish so for the smarty, you need to lure him down to there and you need to flick him off the bottom, then you can catch him. You don't use a larger mega hook, that's why I kept going wrong. Not so smart now. 120 grand, get in the boat. So small and medium are both at 100%, large is 98. The tart lives near the linfin, who we caught earlier, ready to snap the line when you hook them. This fish is as far out as we could possibly go, out near the giant whale. I had to come down first to clear out the annoying fish. He is sitting right beside us there, but I needed to make sure nothing was going to interfere. <laughs> then I'm going to borrow this little fish. Then, as my understanding, it's only if we flick the bait near him that he's going to get aggressive with it. Now we can catch him. $56,000, get in the boat. Small, medium, large, 100%. Huge, we're still missing one or two, but they are really, really hard to catch. So let's sell the onboard morons, $216,000. And it's been a little while since we've seen a zombie fish, so I figured we might as go, well, go back to finding one of those. There's actually a lot in this area, we need a few of these. Ah, uh, never mind, these fish really like zombie fish, so we caught a yellow one instead. Luckily for me, I have many, many millions of dollars, so I can cast as many times as I need to to catch whatever I want. $80,000? Yeah, get in the boat. I did not expect a little fish like that to be worth so much. But now I need to find its elongated friend that I accidentally fed to a different fish. Think I actually, yep, found it at the bottom. I can see on the mini map because it's very long. So if you would put me in your mouth, then we'll bring you to the surface. Zombie Purdy, 125, get in the boat. I just got a look at the hammerhead shark right here and it's also a zombie. That's got to be worth a fortune. Come here, zombie moron. I even got you a fresh fish. Okay, you don't eat this. I might need to turn it into bait first. That's okay, I've got nothing but time on my hands. Shark, come eat this. <laughs> oh, just kidding, we caught one of these now. You know what, let's just start chaining all the fish together. We're gonna catch everything. Pretty sure we're not allowed to use this as bait, so get in the boat and we'll do it all again. You think for a shark, a zombie shark especially, he would be extra aggressive. Okay, come on, you can do it. Why is he scared of my bait? Would you eat that? Got him. One zombie hammerhead coming up. Zombie, 150,000. Huge amount of money, get in the boat. Then we're gonna go do a little exploring over here. It's been a long time since I've looked over here, so there's probably all sorts of new fish and all sorts of different things to be had. Okay, looking over here, all I found is just a bunch more annoying fish. There are some big zombie fish at the bottom. We've already caught these, but they just look good, so we're gonna catch more of them. And they're $25,000, so we actually lose $25,000 by catching one. Everything on board, though, is three quarters of a million dollars, so we're still a very comfortable millionaire. Now we're going to go clear out a lot of fish because we're going down to the caverns. Uh, we did catch one of the little uh, bomb fish, which is good, but we need to find a bigger zombie fish. This is going to get super annoying to do. Basically, I need more bombs. We need to go down here and scare all the fish directly around me, which is a lot of them. Basically, you're going to spend the next 45 minutes bombing the ocean, just scaring everything and anything. So hopefully this works reasonably well. We need to scare absolutely everything away, and then I need to pick up a rock. Because we're going to get this little guy to bite my rock. Because if it's a bomb, he'll blow up. Because lurking way down here and the deep is a giant zombie fish. Who, for some reason, doesn't want to eat what I've got. I think I broke the game again because there's a lot of different things going on. There's a zombie swordfish stuck there, which is actually a good opportunity for me. But I just reeled this fish straight up through the rock and no one seemed to care. But since I have a stuck swordfish down there who's zombified, I might be able to actually take advantage of that situation. And uh, see if I can wedge him out of there. Nope, that swordfish is also stuck, so everything's just broken. We're gonna try this again. I borrowed another rock, I'm gonna go force it down this fish's throat. And it doesn't want to eat it still. I don't know what its issue is. Okay, I've got a different size hook, and he still doesn't want to bite. I don't know why he doesn't like this enough. Ah, uh, he likes living fish better apparently, but not enough to actually bite it. I did find a puffer fish nearby, and we just need to steer it into the way of the swordfish there that really likes to spear these things. 
while also playing keep away from that fish, I don't know where this spear fish is gone. Wait, he's chasing it. I just gotta get him to actually spear it. Okay, he's right down below me. Come on, can you spear it? Moron, spear it, spear it, do it, do it. Did he get it? Why, did, why isn't he spearing it? Hello? I think I might have broken the game. Things just aren't working anymore. To be fair, I did make about half the map disappear entirely, so it's not a huge surprise this isn't working. But we did catch a hammerhead uh, zombie shark, and we have a swordfish and a giant cave shark that are zombified. We just can't catch them because we've broken everything entirely.